Welcome to the fourth podcast of the Legends of UCI broadcast. This is Brian Miraflor with your host Jessica Chung, and today we will be venturing into the UCI nuclear reactor. We will be interviewing the facilities manager and also a professor from the chemistry department, George Miller. Please stay tuned. Okay, welcome, Professor. Let's get started. What is a nuclear reactor and what does it look like? A uranium atom, which is one of the atoms that's biggest in the periodic table. And when you give any energy to a uranium atom, it can fall apart into two pieces. It releases two elemental things called neutrons, which are very fundamental particles and part of the nucleus of an atom. And those neutrons actually can hit a neighboring uranium atom stock chain reaction and it builds up a lot of energy. You have to confine the energy for a while actually by setting off a regular bomb outside it to blow it in on itself so that it, the energy is released and stays together. The way you control it is to put something among the uranium that will actually absorb neutrons and that's usually an element called boron. So why do we have it? Well it allows us to do a very sensitive form of chemical analysis kind of demonstration we usually give to tour people about this is if I take one of your hair and put it into a tiny little capsule like say this one. Uh, that's the kind of sample we can analyze. So we could put one hair inside that, mm -hmm. put it down in amongst these neutrons, bring it out again and find about 12 or 15 different chemical elements that you don't know you're carrying mm -hmm. around in your hair. Um, so you can just take like and you can take a hair Yeah, right. And this has been used in crime cases because it turns out that all of your hairs are uh, sort of like a fingerprint. <laughs> they did work here on the bullet pieces that came out of President Kennedy's head when he was assassinated. Congress decided they wanted to re-examine all the evidence. And we had a professor here at that time who was an international expert on doing that kind of thing. He actually analyzed the examples of the little pieces that the bullet had splintered into. So he was able to look at these little tiny bits of bullet after it shattered in the bone and so forth, just tiny pieces. And the idea then was to try and find out whether they really all came from the same bullet or whether there was more than one bullet involved. But they all kind of looked the same. How long did, does the whole, I guess, process take? To do that to do particular that. thing, just actually about an hour or two. I mean, the worst part was with weighing the little samples and putting them into the little things. That's what takes almost longer than, oh, really? than doing the radiation, radioactive measurement. It took most of the day, I guess, to do that. But they sent a, a courier with it, cases like you see in the movies where he had the little right. briefcase with a chain on his arm. Finished with them, we put them back in and went back to Washington. You said they These were are like tiny little the pieces, tiny, yeah. Tiny little pieces that were inside. So I'm guessing you, you guys put them in these little Yeah, we put them in little vials like these, yeah. And do you know, do you remember how many samples there were that you got to? No, I don't. It's only about five or six, I think. Thank you, Professor Miller, but that's all the time we have today. So if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to ask him. He is the facilities manager of the nuclear reactor, and you can find him in Roland Hall. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you learned a lot about the legends of UCI.